SSS Veda Day 30. This is it, the last day. I've missed five days in April. So instead of 30 videos, I've created 25. And I want to share with you some of the things I learned. But I really want to thank all of the people who were supportive. I want to thank the new subscribers that have come in. I want to thank people like George Mount, who were really, really supportive. George Mount, uh, Bob King, Alex Powers, very supportive, very interactive, really inspiring. Thanks to Amy Chow, Tom Nardone, Jeff Bradford, Mike Gervin, Cairo Queen, Dory Owen. I've really got to thank Amy Schmidauer. She is the SSS part of SSS Veda. Veda was vlog every day in April and SSS is Amy Schmidt. I was brand savvy, sexy, social. Well, there's a tongue twister for you, but she was the inspiration. And there's a group of us that use the SSS Veda uh, hashtag. And we got regular uh, videos of support ideas, whatever we needed along the month while we were doing these videos. So thanks, Amy. So what are some things that came out of this month? I'm going to share two main lessons. The first one is committing to and following through with a challenge like this. A person really finds out what they give a damn about. Because it gets beyond just cranking stuff out. When you got to put in effort and put a quality product out there into the universe, you got to give a damn. And it's interesting to look back at some of the things that I um, chose as topics along the way, you know, like music and Excel, an Excel function that I didn't think was a good idea. Stories about what it takes to get good with Excel. Day seven was about every team needs somebody who understands data. So what I really give a damn about is the impact of data on people's lives. That's why it was important for me to share some things that had made me successful as an analyst and things that I screwed up as an analyst because there's so much more than just Excel skill. Those are the things that I give a damn about is data's impact on people's lives. And as people who use Excel, what does it take to be good at it? so that we can have a positive impact on people who have to live with the consequences of what we do with data. The biggest thing I got out of this month of vlogging was getting an idea, committing to it, seeing it to the end. Cause I'm one who can start thinking, especially around creativity, what about this and what about that? And then that's a lot of why I missed those five days is because I was thinking a lot. And then some of the videos that I'm proudest of, they are the ones where I had an idea and just saw it all the way through. I laugh sometimes and wonder what the hell was I thinking? Why did I do that? And it was all in the spirit of fun getting the content out, meeting the challenge of uh, vlog every day in April. And I just hope you all had as much fun and learned some things. So from here with the 30 days over, I won't be blogging daily. It's a challenge. You know, there's maybe one or two videos that I was able to do in about an hour. But that was the minimum. I think the longest one was about six hours from recording to editing to rendering to posting. And, you know, one thought would be, why not just simplify? Well, that's something else that came out of this month was my style, my voice. What can I deliver on a sustained basis? You know, I could do two minute videos. Here is some Excel feature 
But that doesn't provide context. And that's what I feel like is missing in really short tutorials. There isn't a context. A person can look at a count ifs tutorial, but where's the context? Those tutorials are good for people who already have some sense of what they're doing, what they're looking for, and just need to get something done. Whereas I'm thinking about what it really takes to be good with data. What is the approach that you have to take sometimes? Let's think about things like there's the right clean way to do something in Excel. And then there's the dirty, messy way that'll get you a result. They're both legitimate. It depends on the context. And that's the kind of stuff that I get excited talking about. I couldn't crank out a whole lot of really short, dry tutorials. Wouldn't last long. Thanks to everybody who's been supportive. And please, I really want to know what worked for you. What didn't work? What would you want to see? What would you want to see less of? Let me know. I, w I really want to hear it so that I can create videos for you to make a difference for you. All right. As it says, Veda, day 30. Over and out.